explain to me why? What the hell is wrong with you, WWE? Are you serious? Are you serious? Look, I don't give a shit what anyone thought of Raw tonight. There was only one good thing I was actually proud of, of Raw. But are you serious? Sasha Banks, a one-week champion? One week! You have got to be kidding me. You cannot be seriously telling me this. Why take the belt off her if you're only going to put it back on Alexa Bliss in the first place? I, I stress too much. I stress too much. I shouldn't be shocked. I shouldn't be surprised. It's WWE. Oh, 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 Alexa Bliss is, is, the, is on the cover of No Mercy. Who cares if she's on the cover of No Mercy? That doesn't mean she should be the champion. Freaking Chris Jericho was on the cover of Payback and he wasn't the champion. I don't care what anybody thought of Raw. I thought Raw was an absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace. People like to shit on SmackDown. People like to shit on SmackDown all the time. I don't get... I... 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 I, I this is why I prefer SmackDown. SmackDown doesn't do bullshit like Monday Night Raw. Yeah, but everyone... Yeah, but everyone... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everybody likes to bitch about, about, bitch about SmackDown Live. The only bad thing about SmackDown Live is the modern day Mahalo Raja as the WWE Champion. That's the only problem with SmackDown Live. So let's go over Monday Night Trash. Let's go over it. Jeff Hardy won a battle royal to become the Miz's next challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. Ooh. 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 Well, I guess I can accept this. It, it is a new challenge. It is something new. But still, ooh. Jeff Hardy's become irrelevant since losing the tag team title. So is this their way on breaking up the Hardys? Congrats, WWE. Enzo Amore makes his 205 Live debut, and you can't teach that. And he takes on Noam Dar. But that is Alicia Fox. He's a nobody. That's it. Enzo wins. Brock Lesnar addresses Braun Strowman. I did not hear any of this. I'm just coming home reading up all the results. And honestly... Yeah. Cool. That's probably the only interesting thing that's going to be happening at home. Cesaro beat Raw Tag Team Champion Seth Rollins. And then Dean Ambrose defeated Sheamus. Okay. Why isn't this a tag team match? Why? Can someone explain this to me? Why couldn't they have had a tag team match tonight? It would have been better off that way. Here's the only good thing I'm actually happy that Monday Night Raw did. Emma versus Mickey James. Emma got the win. Did Emma seriously win? Well, you're lucky I actually caught home. You're lucky I came home, quickly watched that match before I came on here and did my review because I was curious to see how she won. 
a clean win. Even though some people might say, oh, well, she just stood on top of her and sat on her and grabbed her legs. That's that's sort of uh, stealing a win. No, no, no. I call that a clean win. I call that a clean win. John Cena and Roman Reigns made No Mercy match card official. WrestleMania worthy match thrown down the toilet in a pointless No Mercy pay-per-view. Right now, No Mercy is looking pretty bad. Some people might think people might be happy about the No Mercy card, but honestly, John Cena and Roman Reigns should be a WrestleMania match. Everyone's always everyone bitched about Cena and Nakamura. WrestleMania! WrestleMania match! That's a WrestleMania match! But this too is a WrestleMania match, right? I don't get raw. And then and then after that, John Cena and Roman Reigns teamed up against Gallows and Anderson. They're fighting each other at no mercy, but you put them in a tag team match. And how can they still win even though they hate each other? Typical Vince McMahon. Right there. Impressive Peevilis Wesley confronted Elias. Who the hell is that? I'm curious. I'm just going to click on this. Oh my god. That's freaking Heath Slater. Are you serious? Are you serious? You're dressing Heath Slater up in an Elvis costume? Well, shoot, sure, well. Heath Slater has become a big joke on Monday Night Raw. And then you had Alexa Bliss defeat Sasha Banks to become the new Raw Women's Champion. Why take the belt off Alexa Bliss if you're only going to put it back on, on, on her? i tell you what, I'll tell you one thing. If Sasha Banks ever goes into the Hall of Fame, what should she be proud of? The fact that she's had four women's title reigns and they've all lasted less than a month. Four weeks, three weeks, two weeks, and now one week. All of her title reigns have lasted less than a month. That's certainly something to be proud of, huh? Why would you be proud of being a four-time women's champion and losing it within within less than a month each time? I don't know. I don't know why Vincent Mann thinks that's a great idea. I, I, I'm done. I give up with Monday Night Raw. I seriously do. But now, I don't give a shit what anyone tells me. I'm going to be positive on my SmackDown Live review. If SmackDown ever does pull out some kind of bullshit that, that I see, then, then, I will be like this when it comes to SmackDown Live. I'm not angry when it comes to SmackDown Live. Yeah, Jinder Mahal is the only bad thing. The creative writers may be silly, but I bypass that. I bypass that. Jinder Mahal to me is the only bad thing about SmackDown. 
If anyone enjoyed Monday Night Raw, you're an absolute idiot. The only... And I'm glad, I'm glad WWE finally gave Emma a win. And they gave Emma new music. Why did you change her theme? Can someone explain to me why did Emma change her theme? Well, I don't really care. I, it sounded okay. But I honestly did not like the fact that she had a new theme. And I bet the only reason why Emma was able to get a win here is maybe because Emma decided to do a little bit of Emmalina to Vince McMahon backstage. That's my Monday Night Raw review, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you guys when I do SmackDown Live.